Good evening, Detroit. This is the Wood Dog. I am out at 5240, as you can see, 5240 West Chicago. I'm at the New Light Baptist Church. As you can see, this fine pillar in the community was founded in 1930, the 1664, and even up to this day. This is an historic church in the city of Detroit. <clears throat> this fine religious institution is officiated by the Reverend Frederick L. Brown Sr. Pastor. Okay, today I am out on my Detroit Bike Blight Patrol. Alright, we're at the New Light Baptist Church. As you can see, they even have a headline banner right there. New Light Baptist Church. This church does fine work in the community. Fine work. The Detroit Bike Bike Blight Patrol is not here for the New Light Baptist Church. I am here today because of what this church has to sit in between. All right, this is a pretty unique location. As many other questionable locations that you might catch a little flack doing a report on, but this is not to say anything negative about the New Light Baptist Church or anything that the New Light Baptist Church owns. It's what they are surrounded by. And I'm gonna show it to you. To the, here I am, I just walked away from their marker. Fine Roth iron fence here, manicured lawn. But here's an apartment building right next to Detroit, right next to the church. And it's huge. And I am not going in there, Detroit. But you can see it from the outside. All right, this is one huge apartment building that's been burned out. I don't know how many times Detroit Fire Department come over here and burn it up, put it out. Somebody else set something on fire. They burn it out and look at it. It's a skyscraper over the apartment building right next to one of the most historic churches in the, in the city of Detroit, my city. The marquee on this apartment building says Stanhope Manor all right it's wide open to the public as many other apartment buildings are in this city and I got another one for you I'm not gonna go all the way in this one because this sucker looks unsafe it's falling down you can see the Roth iron beams through what used to be windows you can literally walk right into the front door okay here we go Walking in the front door, this is as far as I'm going. You get the point? I'm sure you do. All right, Detroit. Will shake your head do on this one? I don't think so. Here's the other side. All right. Now, I rode by this location a couple times already. Decided what I was gonna do, what I was gonna say, and I made sure that I put it out there at the beginning of this video this has nothing to do with the New Light Baptist Church. It's what they are surrounded by. Once again, here you go. Okay, this is on the left side of the church. Okay, now I'm gonna make my way back down to the other end. Okay, here we go. You see the church, fine immaculated property. And that's a park right in the middle, right across the street from the church. Here's the front entrance. Okay, to the New Light Baptist Church. That's the front entrance. Here's the park. This is West Chicago, just, I would say, north of Grand River. That's Grand River, right up there. That's Grand River, where you see the bus? That's Grand River. Okay. And this park right here is right in the middle. Now on the other side of that park is the Ebenezer Methodist Church. They don't have the blight on that side of the street that the New Light Baptist Church has to deal with on this side of the street. This side. All right. Took me a minute to get over here on my new Detroit Cadillac. All right. Now, if you are on a bike as much as I am, Detroit, you need a comfortable ride. A lot of people ride bikes and they don't know how to adjust their bikes to make it comfortable for them so they can't ride an hour and a half. Make it real brief. 
most stems on the bicycle you can adjust them from the six millimeter hex nut right there adjust your seat walk up to your bike raise your seat up as high as your hip you'll be able to ride as long as you want all right that's my detroit cadillac new and improved and uh this church is immaculate it's historic i've been inside this church many times uh when i was a boy and even through adulthood it's real nice in there historic Okay, the address once again is 5240 West Chicago, north of Grand River. Now, as I keep going towards Grand River, here's another <laughs> abandoned apartment building. All right, right next to the New Light Baptist Church on its left side. Okay, there's the church from a distance. Here's what it's got to sit next to. It's been burnt out front to back. The same as the other one on the right side. The front entrance is so overgrown, you can't even see it, Detroit. I wouldn't dare try to navigate up in there. All right? And that's what the church has to deal with. Now, with that being said, why is the New Light Baptist Church surrounded by apartment buildings like this on its left and its right side. I've talked to a lot of the neighbors in the community around this church, and they've told me that once upon a time, it was owned by a lot of people, you know? But you could take those residents for a grain of salt. Some of them know what they are talking about, and some of them don't. So I'm not gonna take a person's word who does not own anything in the city of Detroit at their word but i can add but let me ask you detroit who do you think would want to have their church surrounded by blight like that okay on your right side on your left side historic church well maintained well groomed yard front sidewalk got a well groomed park right across the street Okay, let's say for argument's sake that the church used to own those properties. Then it would be their responsibility to raise them. That means tear them down, pay for the disposal, the demolition, the inspections to make sure all the utilities are capped before they fill in the hole. We're not gonna go there. I already been there in previous videos. But let's just say that the church does not own either one of those apartment buildings to its left and to its right okay now it's a county and a city issue what taxes are being paid on the property has the city of detroit went after the last registered deed owner of those properties that's what the mayor stressed on that he would go after landowners who walked away from their properties abandoned their properties and left them wide open to the public okay that's a pretty long apartment building too. You know, and I'm sure that this fine religious institution right here would love to have these apartment buildings torn down. This is not the first, this is not the first video I've done on or around religious institutions where there's blight and or neglect. But in this case, in a couple of my videos, I did a church over on Broad Street. Had two abandoned, trashed out houses next to it. The church had nothing to do with that, but they got to deal with that blight. And it appears that the New Light Baptist Church has to deal with the blight that's behind me and right down the street. I don't think that's fair. At the bare minimum, historic institutions like this one, the New York, the New Light Baptist Church, should be protected and be put on a priority list to have these blight, blighted structures, apartment buildings removed from their view, from the planet, all right? This church could use those lots for parking for the parishioners, all the good work that I hear that, that this church does in the community. At the minimum, they should be put at the top of the demolition list with the city of Detroit. Help me out, Detroit. Help me out, my YouTube viewers. Help the New Light Baptist Church. Help them. Hey, how you doing? Help them get this blight 
away from them. All right, we're gonna go back down here and take a look at this marquee down here. All right, as you can see, this church is officiated by the Reverend Frederick L. Brown Sr. All right, contact this pastor. If you can help me, contact the ombudsman's office, the mayor's office in the city of Detroit, and the city council person that is elected to represent this district, help out this pastor and this church remove those two apartment buildings to the left and to the right. All right, they need your support. I need your support. I've been at this all summer. Like I said, all my videos are on YouTube under my banner of the Detroit Bike Blight Patrol. I don't do this for entertainment. I don't do this for money or anything else other than letting people know what's out here in the city of Detroit other than what's going on downtown. Okay, downtown is seeing resources flowing in its direction from every direction. But in the inner city, you have pillars in the community, pillar churches in the community, like the New, New Light Baptist Church. They help so many people around here, and they, it's time for them to get some serious love, support, and respect by having these apartment buildings to its right and to its left torn down. You can see those apartment buildings from Grand River and people who come new to these institutions, either this one, the New Light, New Light Baptist Church, or the Ebenezer Methodist Church on the other side of the park in that direction. I've been over there too. Though these two churches on West Chicago are historic. If you go inside, you think you're in a cathedral. They've been well maintained by the staff, the church, the pastors. What more good can I say? You know, but they have blight that they need help with. Even with all the resources that some of these churches have, they cannot afford to have the blight removed, especially when it's as big as this. I mean, how are they gonna do it alone? Detroit City Council, help out the New Light Baptist Church that I'm standing in front of. I'm begging. If I have to get on my knees, I will. I'm willing to do that for my city. Will the city council do that? Will the mayor do it? You know, I'll do it. You know, because we need to help out religious institutions that need our help in the city of Detroit. The citizens need our help. Religious institutions need our help. Business owners need our help to help remove blight. At the minimum, hold them responsible. I would like to see the data and the lawsuits filed by the city of Detroit law department against all residential, commercial, and apartment building owners, hauling them in court, at the minimum, file the lawsuit. Dig them up through the deeds, find out who they are, sue them. It's not right. I had to show you this blight. My name is Frank Wood, otherwise known as the Wood Dog. I'm out here on my Detroit bike blight patrol. It's almost the middle of August, and I'm out here doing what I do, riding around in the city of Detroit on my Detroit Cadillac, and I won't let you down, Detroit. I'm going to keep doing this until it gets too cold for me to ride around and expose this citywide blight. I'm the wood dog, and I'm out. Please help the New Light Baptist Church.